Hello, and welcome. It's Friday night, but you're not going out. No, you decided to stay home and watch YouTube videos instead. And you know what? That's okay. My name is A. Gray Phantom, and welcome to Forever Alone Fridays. Last week, I asked you to come have dinner with me, and we have another guest with us tonight. His name is Julian. You can hear him kind of in the background. He's making uh, a meal for two. He has uh, been set up on a dinner date, and we're going to see how that transpires. So, dinner date was released back in November 17th, 2010, by developer and voice artist Jerome D. Stout. Now, if I am mispronouncing that, please let me know. I, I would feel bad. Composer, Van Van Nispentot Penoden. And I want to make mention that this game has sold over 38,000 copies, uh, according to Jerome's... Twitter account. I make mention of this because on Steam, it's it's getting mixed reviews. It has had received very mixed reviews, and I understand why after playing it through once myself. Um, a lot of people consider this to be not a video game, and I completely understand that. I would like to think of this as an experience, unless with interactive elements. We are supposed to be playing as the subconscious of Mr. Julian Luxembourg. And as such, we don't really have any agency over the conscious decisions. In fact, there are times where you might want to say, oh, don't do this. And he does it anyway, because the game will develop and the story will be told the exact same way every single time with only slight nuance to subconscious. We're mostly just going on this for a ride, but you know what? That's the point of it. We're you're watching me play video games, I'm playing video games and having people watch me play. I do the same thing all the time. It's sort of that sort of same sort of experience. Let's see. It has been nominated for the Nuovo Award for the Independent Game Festival of 2011. Uh, you know, for abstract sort of category. Uh, short form um, sort of uh, type of game. Um, Joron de Sout has also been working on another game called Chiang Song. Now, if you go to thesoutgames.com, and I'll make sure to have all the links in the description below, um, Chiang Song has only been announced back in March of 2012, but not much has been heard about it. I did check out Jiron's um, Twitter feed, and he is still working on it, apparently. I've seen some screenshots. I've played Dinner Date. I actually would love to be able to play more of what this guy puts out. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. Boom. Oh, what are you all having for dinner, by the way? I, I forgot to ask, you know, put in the you know, comments below. For me, I'm having a freshly baked loaf of sourdough French bread, a pink lady apple, and some dry salami. And I also, to go with the bread, I have a garlic plate. Now, if you don't know what garlic plate is, it's a little plate with little grooves at the bottom of it. You rub some garlic into it, pour in a little extra virgin olive oil, cold press, and splash of balsamic vinegar, and you dip the bread into it. I'm going to have a little bit right now because this is just so good. Mm. I would love to get a better garlic plate, though. Mine, um, the grooves aren't so easy to clean, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Um, because, mm, not very many places sell garlic plates. Mm. All right. We do not play as ourselves. We play, uh, you know, we do not play as the main character. And during date, you play as the subconsciousness of Julian Luxembourg. You press the G to take control of the hand and begin practicing with it. Now I am the subconscious motorix of Julian. Now, I want to ask you, uh, you uh, viewer, how often do you touch your own face in a day? Or maybe it's just an hour. I bet you some of you are actually touching your face right now because... You just subconsciously do that, or you lick your lips subconsciously. That's kind of what we are in control of uh, at the most. Let's see, we look through his eyes and hear his thoughts. You cannot change him. His choices are his own. He is not you, and his personality cannot be influenced by you. You know, recently, Musa, one of the content creators I follow on YouTube, is... He, he, he actually put Dinner Date um, in a video compilation and called it one of the worst games on Steam. Well, there are a lot of really bad games on Steam, and the fact that it got featured actually says something because of the fact that it has had so many views, so many purchases, so many, uh, you know, considerations, and has uh, had such sort of interesting 
concepts behind it. Let's see, kind of just strum the fingers, make a fist. Uh huh. All right, we get it. Let's see what Julian's up to. Any second. I love Pink Lady Apples. Yes, Pink Lady Apple, if anyone wants to care to know. It is a pink apple. It's delicious. My favorite for baking or for eating. Although, I kind of prefer, you know, Granny Smith apples for baking apple pies. Talking. Mm. Okay. That is how a Japanese call a clock. I'm quite sure she taught me that. It's a curious thing to do. Most foreigners just teach her how to count. Hmm. What time is it, anyway? She is late. Like 7.50? Yeah. Marianne hasn't responded yet either. It's gone 7 o'clock. Definitely left the office now. I shouldn't have left her. Or should have called her. Damn phone. Well, you still call her, can't you? What do we have over here? Uh, it's hand. I need to start focusing on work. Yeah, I, I really need this date. It's good. And Jerry's going to be angry if I mess it up too, the way he arranged it. Uh, those Tap guys always fingers. get me into situations like this. Probably... No, they wouldn't get started at 7. Would they? Might be doing shots over at Monty's. Ah, Monty. Mm. It's quite right to use as a pseudonym. I guess it's just coming up on 7. That's really romantic, actually. Oh. It's getting quite late to show up. Nobody would show up this late on meetings. 10 minutes. Might have just missed a bus, of course. Yes. Definitely Micah. Denial. Yeah. Denial really is elegant. the first step. The Japanese always know how to dress. That's a given. Oh, shit, what if she doesn't show up? It's been ten minutes. What do we have over here? That's a nice spread. Some peppers, broccoli, some soup mm, on the I'm kettle, quite or on the stove. Did I even lunch? I can't remember what I've had for lunch. I was doing that report. Not that Marianne will read that until Friday. Yeah, stretch it out, man. I'm still. You're thinking too much ah, about shit. work. This was the only chance I had as well. Never meeting people like that. Jerry was right. I should be happy at least he is looking out for my sex life. Who cares? This is a bit crude. I think you're obsessing too yeah, much I about what other people think of you. I better just take a sip of wine. That might calm your nerves, Julian. Yeah, yeah, go on then. It will stop me from thinking so much. You know, it's actually funny. I got stood up for a date recently. I, I talked to her, or been in touch with her since. She had a good reason for it. It felt shitty, though, let me tell you. Last girlfriend I had actually broke up with me and didn't actually say so, and I thought that that actually might have been the case with this one. The woman I uh, am dating right now. Misunderstanding, though. I'm just very happy about that. That's just shitty when someone breaks up to you and doesn't even have the goal to send you a text message or an email. <laughs> Feeling a little bit better, mate. Ah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Bread, oil, vinegar, tops. I feel a bit bad about starting to eat. Can't just drink wine, though. Will it look odd? I'll just pretend I didn't when the door rings. Should be time enough. I'll just go, just a minute. <laughs> just a minute. Might as well eat. It would be bad to drink wine and I'm not have some bread. Eating bread by myself here. Hmm. If I had just let it be dancing with the guys at my go, I would have been sure she'd see me. Yeah. You've met this woman, right? right? She taught you how to say clock in Japanese. That's cool. What time is it anyway? Mr. Donald was oh right wow! Well. It's almost been half an I hour. Need to focus my talents. Seek my inner self. Such floaty words. But then Mr. Donald is helping me relocate. I can't always work for Johnson. Why well, he doesn't just fire Marianne and himself? And what does Johnson do these days? Just sits at his desk fiddling his iPhone and having trivial conversations with the clients I get for him. Oh yes, he does all the lunches. It's a business expense. 
Now, it's good to make note that these are his subconscious thoughts. We don't always publish or broadcast the thoughts that we're having in our Probably heads. Too late to go do we? I could do with a bit of fresh air. No, no, the wine. The wine. And Maiko. It looks like this is taking oh, a bite out right, of it. Oh, they are right, aren't they? I just don't seem to care. Here's a pretty girl coming over for the first time in... Like the sound it makes. God knows how long a time. Julian, you don't live what in do a by house by yourself, do you? I used she to live in a... upon a pillow, pill she lay, her dark eyes flashing through her tears, like... Like something. I used to live in a three-bedroom apartment by myself. When will I read poetry to someone anyway? Very well, isolating. Probably would be wasted on Mika. Nothing under 120 BPM can please her. Uh, wouldn't mind giving her something over 120 BPM. hey <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was really bad. Really bad. I do want sex with her, though. Those slender legs. See her cry out with joy. It's nice to think of her. Doesn't sound bad, actually. It's good bread. <clears throat> and a good tabernard. I'm actually quite good at that. Yeah. And Mr. Donald will sort the work out. I can't wait to leave them. Let them go down the drain. Marianne probably couldn't even file for bankruptcy. Yeah. What, what am I is? worrying about anyway? Maiko is not showing up. So what? I'll just spend the night doing something useful. Something useful. Jerry will love that. I just Google it real quick. A tapenade well, is actually this little fuck uh, Jerry. Saucy has over here. I'll just move on to the soup. More bread. I'm not that hungry anymore. I really just want to go do something now. Idle hands. Have another glass. Yeah, I could have that. Hmm. More bread. There's really good stuff. She probably isn't coming. I, I might as well have a nice drink then. Hmm. Oh, I don't need to justify myself to them. It's it's good this way. She's not coming. You might as well enjoy oh, yourself. God, I can work with two glasses. See, I'm an expert at something I like to call master dating, where I take myself out on dates. And when you live alone and you live an isolated life, it's actually quite satisfying. Live for yourself. How are you feeling, Julian? Feeling better now? Hmm. M. Let's see. Get it have the soup? Oh, that does smell good. You worked really hard on it. You yeah. should... Mike has no idea what she's missing. She's probably just dancing. God knows what now. It's almost eight. Let's see here. Which one? N. I think N Probably. Is... We'll take yep. the bike to work yeah, tomorrow. We go. Can go to the countryside afterwards. Take the highway through that. Yes! Yes! The exercise could be good for you, Julian. Like, seriously, that just fuck her. Good. Might go to a restaurant on the way back. Italian. Take a book with me. Then I'll be sitting there alone. Reading a book. And Michael I'm dancing, that was rather nice. Hmm. How do I always get along with those guys? They always call me. She probably tried to reach me. No, did I dip it again? T is eat. No, it's not. Mr. Donald doesn't really cut it. He's successful, makes me successful, but also I think uh, but no. it's not really fun. Yeah, I'm just pumping myself up here. The suit might be nice, and I have a bike, a paycheck that'll soon buy me a way out of this house. I'm not too bad looking. A whole house by yourself, man, that's rough. But I don't really use it that much. Mm. Biking and reading doesn't really get you into touch with the other sex. They are right, really. I should just go out with them. 
instead of quoting Byron to myself. Get a few drinks down, dance with someone, pull a girl, pull a chick. <laughs> pull a chick. I love dipping bread into like nice little soup. I should just give in. Nobody, nobody can dance without a few drinks in them anyway. Perhaps I'll just go after this. Ugh, I drink too much to be useful here anyway. Oh, he's drunk after two glasses of wine. It's probably because of this kid lunch. Wow, she's Mako's almost late by an hour. Eh, more soup. Where will they hang out now? I could go there. It doesn't really matter being hangover didn't work. I worked ahead. Not that damn Johnson ever checks. Yeah, they should invent an app for that. <laughs> Why would you go suck my dick, Johnson? I think there's an app for that. I can't believe Michael <laughs> didn't show up. I was so hoping to. And she seemed to like me. Did she? I can never tell. After a few drinks, everybody kisses anybody anyway. It's, who else did she kiss? She kissed you, huh? Not Jerry, I think. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny, actually. I that... think we all look the same, but... What, she kissed Jerry? That date um, that I got stood up on? Can't hold a liquor. That date I got stood up on last Sunday? It's kind of weird. It this never happens to me. This girl when came up to me and she back? just a few months. She wanted to kiss me. Not much time left if I want to shag her. Are you actually basing your calendar around thinking. getting laid, Julianne? That is exactly what Jerry's talking about. All that thinking. I should just let go. I need another glass of wine or a bottle. Might as well finish this night drunk. Reset my brain. Yeah, it, it's weird. Women. <sighs> she don't won't show up. She doesn't need the wine. Aren't usually into me. And then this one night I get stood up on one date. Another woman comes up and she wants to kiss me. I, I, I turned her down, of course. It was just I need to work things out. I needed to work things out with the woman that kind of stood me up. But things are starting to work out now. Life is strange. Is it time to have another drink, Julian? Now, this is one of the things I've had a problem with. I'm just going to let this roll. And Julian's going to make the decision to drink without any sort of inference from me at all. Which, I understand this is why people like Musilk did not like this game. Is because Musilk plays a lot of Team Fortress 2, and the first-person shooter, by very nature, is immediately gratifying. It's immediate gratification. A game like this has no immediate gratification, no immediate payoff. Okay. You pull the trigger, bang! That's immediate gratification. This is not, though. I have no agency over what he's doing. I have no choice. I can't duck left, right, uh, make any tactical decisions. This is just, I'm going along for the ride. I did not push any buttons. He chose this drink for himself. I would have kept, kept eating soup. Soup looked good. Oh. Kind of like it's bread. Oh my god, it's so good. Well, what time is it now? How long have you been drinking? Wow! Mind you, we started just before 7 o'clock, and now it looks like it's getting close to 10. I thought that might be possible with Maiko. I'm not saying the one. The one. You know. Mm. Jerry might be still in university, but at least he's getting laid. Oh, yeah. Or getting a girl knocked up. That's always a possibility, getting someone knocked up. Just a shadow. Just someone to hold. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is a decision to smoke some uh, cigarettes. Someone at work recently asked, Gray, wh what do you want? You know, in a relationship. <sighs> yeah, getting laid? You didn't smoke? Oh. He's gonna no. He's yep. Made the decision himself. I just like I'm not interested God, in no, sex. Whoa! Biking or sitting in the office. Yeah, Marianne. She's quite good looking. Shag worthy, I suppose. Just mm, not sure. It's over here. One hand. Looking outside. It's a nice view. Let's, uh, let's light one up. She ceased and turned upon a pillow. Peel. Her dark curl shading her one cheek. That's different, isn't it? I can never remember this poem. 
Damn. Damn! I can't stand she didn't show up. So much depended on it, didn't it? You're you're depending your happiness on the happiness on on someone else being in your life. You're you're putting your stock into someone about who you barely know. It is about me. I've been this way for years now. It's 27 and still damn 27. Now this is interesting. The choices that were being I'm made is smoking, out looking at the window, or Japanese looking at the clock. Skills. Very smooth. Yeah, it's oh, don't put so uh, much stock in age, Julian. You know, like I was saying Perhaps before, I should just oop. give up on love. Forget about it. If it's all going to be twenty-year-old girls dancing to that, that that music, I hate clubs. Way too loud. And just let the guys go by themselves. Why? Are they still inviting me to go? Hey, man, at least you're getting invited to go out. I'm I don't get invited going. to go out anymore. Anyway. Hmm. But what I was saying before is like, what do I want in a relationship? I never get to read my poetry with all the going out. Hmm. Or to bike. Or really to advance my career. A hand to hold. But. Shoulder to lean on. He's with them. I'm happy. I actually am happier when I'm in a relationship with someone. Anyway. Mm. Mm. Perhaps should give it up. Gonna move on. Being twenty-seven. All she relationships. Upon a pillow. Pill she lay, a dark eyes I really want to look up what yeah, this poem it, is. I tried looking it up like, real quick. I just couldn't find she it online. And turned upon a pillow. Pill she lay, her dark eyes flashing through her tears like clouds that rain and lighten, like a veil waved and o'ershading her one cheek. Appears her streaming hair. The black curls. Oh! Oh, fuck giving it up. Here she is. Uh, all relationships end with either death or divorce, right? So, putting a lot of stock into relationships for your happiness isn't really a good bet. It, it's it's doomed to failure. At the same time, I know I do feel happier <sighs> when I'm in a relationship. Kind of funny how that works. Whoa! Julian. Get a grip, man. Fucking neighbors. Damn! I'll just go search the guys. Kind of curious to see, to know what exactly the coat. neighbors wanted. Oh, hey, are we going out now? I guess so. Hmm. The vignetting is a nice touch. It signifies that we've left Julian's um, subconscious. Now we're just kind of adrift. Does that mean that we are now a ghost? Ooh, spooky. Hmm. Yeah, getting stood up sucks. Hmm. And that was dinner date. Again, I understand why this got so many bad reviews. You know, the lack of agency and control does set it apart from most things that we call the video game, where you do have a lot of agency and control over the actions of the main character, whether the main character is you yourself or the character that you're putting upon. Oh, I I like a bad. I love Shadow. Mm. Kind of makes me wonder a lot of things. Whatever did happen to Mako? Why didn't she show up? It sounds like she didn't show up because oh, I, I can't really say she didn't want to show up. But it could have been all sorts of reasons, so we can never really know. Perhaps the next game, Chang Sum, might shed some light on it. Although Chang Sum, that is actually the name of a type of dress in China, not Japanese. Not to say that it's Japanese woman can't wear Chinese dress. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, if you had to ask me, I actually did really very much enjoy dinner date. 
Hmm. And for both being the creative talent behind, you know, development of the game, as well as being the voice artist. I think Joyan did a remarkably good job with this. Hmm. Now, if I could have changed anything different, I would have actually... If I could have done anything different with this game, I don't really think I would have. I think that it's fine the way it is. The lack of being able to make any sort of impact on this does make this less replayable, less enjoyable. So it's not for everyone. It certainly is not for everyone. I don't recommend anyone um, recommend this for everyone. However, I do have links to stoutgames.com below as well as the Steam store uh, link. Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed our time together. I certainly have. Tune in next week. I'm not too sure what I'll be playing next, but we will see. I hope that you'll join me again. My name is A Great Phantom. I want you to know you are loved. Thank you for joining me. Have yourself a good night.